in the last three years, the government has said UAPs are real. We have established a task force. We are providing a report to Congress. They're receiving classified briefings. This is whatever it is. It is real. That something very significant will be said in June regarding this report. In fact, it's been known that a sighting is reported every eight seconds globally. It's December 2020. Donald Trump has just signed a bill that might become a game changer when it comes to understanding UFOs. It committed the U.S. intelligence agencies to provide to Congress a declassified report with all they know about unidentified aerial phenomena. This report will be shared with the public and might be a step forward in understanding UAPs. This video is a summary of the official information we have up to date. Here are the topics we'll cover. You can find sources in the description below for everything we mention. In the end we'll discuss some theories and implications. First, the declassified footages. By now you must have seen these videos. They were featured on most major news channels and seen on YouTube over 10 million times. The images show evidence of unidentified aerial phenomena and were confirmed as real by the Pentagon in 2020 after being leaked several years prior. Now, when I say unidentified aerial phenomena, I'm not claiming it's aliens, or even an aircraft. Being official and real does not mean they are unexplainable or supernormal. It means only that government agencies have recognized the footage as not having been manipulated and not sharing an official explanation of what they are. Maybe this is an unmanned spying vehicle and they just don't know who's it from. The famous skeptic and debunker Mick West presents a possible explanation for all these phenomena. Make sure to watch his video before drawing any conclusions. The FLIR video is most likely a distant plane. The video was taken well after the Pentagon. There are many theories as to what these images depict, but without additional sources of information it's hard to get a complete picture. This is one of the latest videos confirmed by the Pentagon as real, and to be filmed by military personnel. It shows a triangle-shaped UFO. But after watching yet another debunk for this footage, I was left thinking that all these videos show nothing special. And then I found another point that needs to be added to the equation. When the government analyzes these images, they don't just use one data point. They must use as many as they can get, such as radar information, eyewitnesses, etc. And these videos only present one point. If you want to see my personal opinion, check the description below. Other official documents and artifacts. Besides the videos we just saw, other information has been made public, both by the US and by governments of other countries. For instance, this footage comes from Chile. There is also this footage shot in Aguadilla Airport, in Puerto Rico. And this is a phenomenon regularly spotted in Norway. And there are dozens of videos like this publicly available. But the weirdest information we found so far was the two following artifacts. First, the US government has paid for remote viewing of the Galactic Federation. Do they have any clue a thing like this might exist? Or was it a shot in the dark as part of the Stargate project? Second, the patents displayed here do in fact exist and have been registered by the US government. If you want to see how they might work, check out this video from its redacted. The craft works, he says by emitting high-frequency electromagnetic waves throughout the cavity between the inner and outer walls, causing it to vibrate. The craft can interact with the empty space surrounding it, allowing it to behave anomalously. I compiled in the description a list of declassified information divided by countries. Check it out if you want to go deeper on the topic. Apart from declassified documents, we can also find that agencies and departments were created to study UAPs. Official agencies. UFOs have been reported since the Second World War, at the time being called Foo Fighters. For some time, the US government's official response was dismissive. Eventually it became too big to be ignored, and multiple projects were created and tasked with logging UFO sightings. Now, the interesting thing is that even though their official conclusion were that these phenomena were not a threat, not worth pursuing or not interesting enough for science, they always continued operating in secret, or got restarted years later. What the US president said about UFOs. Tell me about the time you once saw a UFO. We saw a strange light coming towards us, a round light, and it got closer and closer, and right above the pine trees, it stopped, and then it began to change colors from blue to red to white. 
and then it stayed there for a while. We were all aghast. We didn't know what it was. And then it just disappeared into the West. Oh, and that it was an unidentified flying object, but I have never thought and still don't think it is possible for, you know, creatures from Mars to come here and visit us and go back home. Just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held if suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. George Bush father generally denied knowing about UFOs, but once said, Americans can't handle the truth. If the United States Air Force did recover alien bodies, they didn't tell me about it either, and I want to know. First, I had people go look at the records on Area 51 to make sure there was no alien down there, but there are no aliens there. If you saw that there were aliens there, would you tell us? Yeah. You would. <laughs> if there is one, I don't know it. I mean, I really, the, the Roswell thing, I think, really was an illusion. Now that you're out of office, you can do anything you want, right? True, yeah. Uh, but I'm not telling you. You're not telling <laughs> Would you be surprised if we were visited by creatures from another planet? Yeah. You would be Wouldn't surprised. Wouldn't you be? Well, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. President Clinton <laughs> told me that if he had seen evidence, he would tell everyone that he'd seen it. Do you feel the same way? No. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> UFOs? Any UFOs? Did you ask about that? I certainly asked about it. And? Can't tell you. Sorry. OK. All right, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> And say, and of course, so did you look? Did you see? Did you <laughs> explore? I, I, I can't reveal anything. Oh, really? <laughs> because President Clinton said he did go right in and he did check and there was nothing. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're instructed to say. <laughs> the, tr the truth is that when I came into office, I asked, we're keeping the uh, <laughs> alien specimens in spaceship. Uh, the answer was no. But what, what is true? Uh, and I'm, I'm actually being serious here, is, is that uh, there are, uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. Uh, they, they did not have um, an easily explainable pattern. I want them to think whatever they think. They do say, I mean, I've, see, I've seen and I've read and I've heard, and I did have one very brief meeting on it, but people are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. Do you think you'd know if there were evidence of extraterrestrials? Well, I think my great, our great pilots would know. Uh, and some of them really see things that are a little bit different than in the past. So we're going to see. You gave an interview the other day in which you said you've been briefed on unidentified flying objects. Are they real? Uh, well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. Uh, I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? And pilots have come in and they said, and these are pilots that are not pilots that are into that particular world. But we have had people saying that they've seen things. I'm not a believer, but, you know, I guess anything's possible. We spoke to a government official recently who said the U.S. government had wreckage from a UFO in a, in a facility on an Air Force base. Are you familiar with that? I haven't heard that, no. Would you ever open up Roswell and let us know what's really going on there? So many people ask me that question. I know, yeah. it sounds almost ridiculous, no, it but it's actually sounds, the real question I want like to know. It sounds like a cute question, but it's actually, there are millions and millions of people that want to go there, that want to see it. I won't talk to you about what I know about it, but it's very interesting. President Obama says that there is footage and uh, records of objects in the skies, these unidentified aerial phenomenon. And he says we don't know exactly what they are. What do you think that it is? I would ask him again. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Come on, boss. Let's go. Are there whistleblowers? If this is a real phenomena, then there should be some people speaking about it. And there are. Here's a small compilation. I think there is a cover-up. What I'd like to say is that there is a serious possibility that we are being visited and have been visited for many years by people from outer space, from other civilizations. And this was the, the most important thing he said during that period was that there have been face-to-face -face meetings between United States officials and 
visitors from other star systems, period. And it's been reported in a couple interviews that you've mentioned there's a federation of alien species. Um, do all of the uh, alien species kind of uh, work together or is there warring species that war with each other? Well, I, I only know about the Galactic Federation and I don't know much about it, so I shouldn't talk about it. Because I read first-hand reports, verifiable NATO military material that indicated that the UFOs were not only real, that they represented something far beyond anything I had ever imagined before. When the study was concluded in 64, they concluded that there were four different groups apparently coming and visiting us. Out of those four different groups, one group looked exactly like we do, so much so that they could sit beside you in a restaurant or in an airplane or in a theater, and you'd never know. And that particular point bothered the military guys a lot. He said there was a, uh, a bright, glowing red object hovering outside the front gate. We lost uh, somewhere between uh, six and eight weapons that morning. Uh, within minutes of having received that second phone call of uh, a UFO hovering outside the front gate. Uh, As author of the book, Flying Saucers Are Real, what is your opinion of these new sightings of unidentified objects? With all due respect to the Air Force, I believe that some of them will prove to be of interplanetary origin. During a three-year investigation, I found that many pilots have described objects of substance and high speed. One case, pilots reported their plane was buffeted by an object which passed them at 500 miles an hour. Obviously, this was a solid object, and I believe it was from outer space. I found countless other respectable sources with similar claims. But I decided to include only a fraction in order to keep the video brief. And even though these declarations seem fantastic, it's important to take them with a grain of salt. These people might have an agenda of their own. Or maybe they are being required by the government to leak this information as part of some unknown campaign. Making sense of the sightings. Part of knowing what might be legitimate is being able to identify what is not. Remaining critical means we must always look first at what could more easily and with less assumptions explain these phenomena. And more often than not, there is an explanation. Here's a few examples of footage that look unexplainable, being explained. Is that not a fucking UFO? Or like a giant fucking like... Pointing it right at him. And now he's turning. Ooh. Yeah. Splash. Yeah, you see him? Now, finding solutions and debunking videos and images is an essential part of the process. As Stanton Friedman said, One good unidentifiable flying object whose characteristics and appearance indicate we're dealing with a vehicle whose behavior says it wasn't made here is worth 50 cases that you can explain. But what are the characteristics that can indicate that what we're seeing was not made here on Earth? To the Stars Academy has a great guide that compiles five characteristics unique to UAPs. If the images don't display any of these, then it's likely that we're misinterpreting what we're seeing. Theories and Implications There are many theories regarding UAPs. If you're interested, be sure to stop the video. You can find everything, from time-traveling beings from the future, to humans being in a digital simulation, to underwater civilizations. Now, I'm not the person to say if these UAPs represent something fantastic or not, but one thing I believe, that there is a political agenda behind this. Either the UAPs are something important and the government is slowly releasing information so that people become accustomed with it. Or they aren't important at all and the government is trying to divert attention away from something else. The way we perceive UFOs has changed immensely throughout time. We went from thinking UFOs were flying saucers that looked like this, 
to claiming they might even be metaphysical beings. Maybe our projections about these phenomena are just reflections of where we, as a society, are at the moment in terms of dealing with the unknown. So, do we have a solid case for the existence of unknown intelligent life? Officially and publicly, we don't. And what do we need in order to keep progressing? I'd say that even if the upcoming report is amazing, I would still require cross-confirmation from the EU and from non-NATO nations such as China and Russia. If other countries completely ignore or dismiss this report, it might mean that this is a military campaign of disinformation by the US. Our role is to remain curious and also critical. It's to exercise rational skepticism and to draw conclusions based on the least amount of necessary assumptions. And maybe one day we'll have enough compelling evidence of UAPs that cannot be explained by anything else other than intelligent life. And if it frustrates you that we haven't made much progress in the last 100 years, I'll leave you with a quote by the late Stanton Friedman. Why don't they talk to us? I don't talk to the squirrels in my backyard. Thank you very much for listening.